Okay guys, welcome to a new food review from McDonald's here in Japan. I know it's been a while since I've been to a McDonald's. The last uh, McDonald's review that I did was not actually on my channel, it was over on Ken's channel. Basically while he was here visiting, we were on a bit of a road trip checking out some vending machines, etc. And we'd made a little pit stop into a McDonald's. So you can go check out that video, I'll put links down below. But as for my channel, the last time I've done a McDonald's review, it's been several months, I think. So let's uh, get into this. So what I picked up today, well, here's here's a drink that I got. This is actually a uh, milkshake, a brand new milkshake. And I got a set, and you can upgrade your set to get the milkshake. Um, this is the M size, the medium size. I think if you just ask for um, a shake instead of a soft drink, you can get an S size, but an extra 20 yen gives you the M size, the medium size. And this is a brand new flavor they got out, which is a quadruple berry flavor. So I'm gonna, oh, oops, I just hit the, the camera. So I'm gonna check that out. Oh, I should have got the S size. It would have fit better underneath. The sandwich that I got today is something called a Le Mon Mon Mon. Le Mon Mon Mon. So, well, it says right here, the Icon Chicken, Salt, and Lemon. Now it's called Le Mon 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 Mon. It's not like triple, triple lemon. Do you remember um, a little while ago I did a Lotario review that was Taru Taru Taru, triple tartar sauce? Well, this is Le Mon 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 Mon. Le mon mon mon, le mon 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 doesn't mean triple lemon sauce, even though it does have a lemon sauce on it. Um, the word for thigh is actually momo, momo. So it's le mon, mm, momo, le mon momo mon. Okay, so it's a chicken thigh is what they're what they're trying to play at here. Um, but you can see it comes in this fancy box, and they actually have three burgers out right now that I think are repeats of burgers that they've had before. Um, I know I've tried at least one of them. The other one, well one of them is the, what is that thing called? The Calbee, the Cal Calbee Mac, which I think was kind of a letdown. The other one I haven't tried, but it's just basically a double burger with an egg on it. And I haven't tried this either, so I decided to do this. So let me bring you in and show you exactly what we got on this thing. Okay, this is the Le Moment Mon. And you can see it's got this sort of braided roll as a bun. And there is a breaded thigh meat. It's going to be thigh meat. Um, it comes also with some cheese. That's supposedly mozzarella cheese. Let me flip this over and get a look on the other side. Um, it's got some chopped onions, some lettuce, and I guess, can you see that it's not, it's not very clear, but there's some, I'm assuming it's a lemon sauce. So, doesn't look like it's got triple lemon sauce at all, does it? But that's the lemon maman. And it does not have a wrapper slash diaper to catch all the drippings, but I guess it comes in this fancy box. Here we go, this is the lemon maman. Yeah, <laughs> how many times have I said that so far? Here we go. So far, a lot of cheese, a lot of lettuce. Not really getting any lemon flavor here. Starting to get a lot of onion now, that sort of raw onion flavor. Not really getting any lemon though. So the meat, once again, is that sort of chewy thigh meat. That's the momo. The sauce that I'm picking up now is I know it says it's like a salty, salt and lemon. It's predominantly salt. The lemon is just very subtle. I kind of wish it was the other way. I was really hoping that it, you know, it would be like a triple lemon flavor, but I don't know about this. It's actually kind of underwhelming. I really wish it had more of a strong lemon flavor, but it's, it's mostly just sort of salty. I don't know. The whole set together, I think it was seven, was it 720 or 740? Um, I think the sandwich by itself is 420. Usually that's how it works. Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of underwhelmed by this particular sandwich this time. 
Let's try the uh, the berry shake. I don't know if the camera can actually focus well on that without me spilling it all over my car. Um, but it has a very sort of fruity smell coming off here. And the four berries, I believe, were raspberry, strawberry, cranberry, and blueberry, I think is what they were. So, so yeah, very fruity flavor on that, as you would expect. I'm not really picking up one berry over the other. You know, there's not a dominant berry flavor. It's just a mix of berries. But it's sort of a very generic kind of berry flavor, but it's it's more of a natural flavor. I think I read somewhere that there's actually 1% actual juice or berries or fruit or whatever in here. Um, so it's not artificial like Fruit Loops or something like that. It has more of a natural flavor, even though it may still be artificial. I do like it. There's one more thing though. So when I got my set, came with a drink, came with the uh, the lemon mamon um, sandwich, and it also came with some fries. But right now they have a new fry seasoning flavor out, and it is a butter shoyu flavor. And shoyu is the Japanese word for soy sauce, so it's a butter soy sauce flavor. So let's give them a try. Now I have had butter soy sauce flavored uh, fries before, but not from McDonald's. I've had them from Lotteria. So basically, what you do is you take your fries and they still feel nice and warm, even though they're trying to escape there. Yeah, you can see the instructions on the side of the bag there. Chuck them in the shaka shaka bag. There you go. You all know what french fries look like, I would assume. And then take the seasoning and there it is. Sprinkle it on top of the bag. I guess inside the bag is the word I'm looking for. It's just a brown, sort of brownish color. And give it a shake. I can already smell this sort of buttery kind of odor. And shake it, shake it to your heart's content. And then I'm just gonna rip the top off. That way it's easier for us to get a look inside here. And there you go, we've got some french fries now seasoned with butter and soy sauce seasoning. So let's give these a try. Mmm. Wow. There are a lot butterier or a lot more buttery than I recall the Lotteria ones being. Mm. These are really good. This is a good flavor. It's no wonder McDonald's decided to copy Lotteria. Okay, so you know me. Um, I actually picked up a bunch of extra seasoning packets. So I'm gonna have a little giveaway. It's something small, something easy for me to send out to you guys. So all you gotta do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Just leave a nice comment down below and I will randomly select five winners. Um, your name will appear in the description box of the next video that I upload. Look for it there. If your name appears, contact me, give me your address and I will send you your very own butter show you seasoning packet of course you'll have to supply your own french fries but trust me you don't want to eat mcdonald's french fries that are a week old being sent through the post so you have to supply your supply your own french fries i'll give you a bag i'll give you the seasoning and you can make it for yourself i will use a random generator to pick five winners and watch for your name in the next video, the description box of the next video, okay? So there you go, that is my review of the lemon mom 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 sandwich. Kind of meh. Um, I don't know, I, I don't think I can really recommend it. It's just sort of nothing special at all. Um, it's more salty than it is lemony, um, and also the onions are a little bit too strong on it. 
so it's just kind of nothing for me. I don't think I'll ever eat this again. I wish it did have more of a lemon sauce, but you know, what can you do? The butter show you French fries, definitely recommend. You definitely got to try these. So good luck to the five winners. Again, watch for your name in the description of the next video. Um, these are definitely something that you need to try. The milkshake, that's also pretty good. I would recommend giving that a try if you're in McDonald's or if you're near McDonald's in Japan. Please give that a try and also pick up some of this seasoning. Hopefully it won't be so long before I come back to McDonald's and hopefully Ronald will actually have something good that I want to try next time. But we'll see what happens. So I just want to say thanks to all you guys for watching my video. And I am going to finish these off and then I'll be heading on my way. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.